Right now, there are more than 100 confirmed or probable cases of monkeypox here in San Diego County. And CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal spoke to a local man infected with this disease. Kelly, what did you find out? Well, Manny Soltero says his experience has been painful. He says he initially thought maybe he had COVID, but his tests kept coming back negative. He says then suddenly these spots started appearing on his face and they spread everywhere. It looks like your body's trying to push out these bumps, but they're not going at the speed you want them to. So they're just kind of just there um, and they're just swollen. They sting, they're painful, but it's not just my hands. It's my ear, my nose, I have a couple on my head. And Soltero shared photos of the lesions uh, with CBS 8. He's been documenting his experience in social media. Now, the 33-year-old says his initial symptoms were uh, he was exhausted. He had a fever. He had chills. He eventually ended up going to the emergency room uh, where he was tested for monkeypox. But because the test results weren't going to come back for a couple of days, he ended up finding a company on social media that sent him a kit to test himself at home. And that's when he received a positive result. So he says doing anything is uncomfortable. Sitting, sleeping, using his phone. Now, he doesn't know for sure how he contracted monkeypox. He says it's possible he got it while standing in line for an outdoor event at Comic-Con uh, where people were in close contact with each other. But he says he truly doesn't know for sure. His message to San Diegans is this. It's an ugly, painful monster. Um, and it it's not just, you know, hovering over behind your shoulder. It just, it takes over your body. You know, you're the host and it takes over and there's no fighting it once you have it. And so he really warns people to be careful. Uh, now, he drove to Los Angeles to get an experimental medication called T-Pox to treat it. He says he's on day two of the medication, but so far he says he isn't feeling any better. He's just hoping things uh, get better soon. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.